Hey guys, welcome to Skill Link. Are you interested in playing golf? Well, it's okay if you aren't, but you would have definitely seen the golf club. Other than wood, iron, and steel alloys, some fancy golf clubs are made of metallic glasses for a particular reason. You might not know why. Well, if you don't, then please wait until the end of the video. This video is about a specific engineering material called metallic glasses. We will be discussing what metallic glasses are, their types, how it is made, its properties and applications. So let's get into the topic. We use a variety of products every day. Each of them is made of different kinds of materials based on their required properties and applications. In recent years, most of the structural appliances are either made of steel or plastic. Steel is preferred because of its high strength and cost effectiveness whereas plastic is preferred because of its ability of being made into different shapes and ease of processing. But is there any material that has both the advantages of steel and plastic? Well, we call them metallic glasses. As we know, solids can either be crystalline, exhibiting a fixed periodic arrangement of atoms, or amorphous, possessing a random arrangement of atoms. When a crystalline solid is heated, the atoms loosen up, but it returns to its original crystalline structure when it is cooled down. When the rate of cooling is fast, there will not be sufficient time for the atoms to settle back, which results in the amorphous structure. These amorphous solids are said to be metallic glasses. It was in 1960, the first metallic glass made from the rapid cooling of molten mixture of gold and silicon was made. Following this, a large number of elements were put together for obtaining metallic glasses. Metallic glasses can be classified into two types based on its constituent elements. One is the metal-metal type and the other is the metal-metalloid type. If the metallic glass is made of metals alone, then it is said to be metal-metal type. Examples for this type of metallic glasses are nickel neodymium and magnesium zinc metallic glasses. On the other hand, if one or more metalloids is added to the metal for getting a metallic glass, then it is said to be metal metalloid type. The metalloids usually added are boron, silicon, phosphorus and carbon. Mostly these metalloids are usually added to metals like iron, nickel and cobalt. But how are these metallic glasses made? Melt spinning is the most common metallic glass manufacturing method. The apparatus consists of a spinning disc made of copper placed below a refractory tube. The refractory tube has a nozzle at the bottom and is surrounded by induction coils. The metals in the correct proportion are taken in the refractory tube and it is melted there due to the heating of induction coils. The molten metal flows on the spinning disc through the nozzle and metallic glasses as a thin ribbon is thrown out because of the centrifugal action of the spinning disc. Now let's see some properties of the metallic glasses. Metallic glasses are of high strength, high ductility, tough and also of less weight. They can be cast or made into different shapes and they exhibit high elasticity. In addition to this, they are corrosion resistant and possess greater electrical resistivity when compared to their metallic counterparts. At last, they are soft magnetic in nature, that is, they can be easily demagnetized. Now, it's time to answer the first question. Because of the ordered arrangement of atoms, the applied force will be absorbed by the crystalline solids due to dislocation of atoms. But this will not happen in metallic solids because of its amorphous nature. That is, energy applied will remain in the applied body, and that is what you see. This is why metallic glasses are used in some golf clubs. They are also used in rackets so that more energy will go with the ball without being absorbed by the bat. Let's conclude by seeing some of the applications of metallic glasses. Metallic glasses are used as core material in high power transformers. They are also used in magneto-resistant sensors, making containers for disposing radioactive waste 
in making superconducting magnets and also in some surgical equipment. So that's it for this video guys. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, bye.